<laughs> oh, it's only September, but I think there's a clown outside. <laughs> I'm filming. I swear to God, man. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> we think my lad is outside. Why? Scott, you have to go. What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> what? What? Look at the fucking balloon! I'm scared, Scott! Come on, there's nobody else there. No, there's my lads outside the balloon! Oh, <laughs> Scott, check around. I think he's behind the car. Excuse me, sir, did you see a clown? I don't see him. Let's go, we jump at him when he comes out. We jump at him when he comes out, okay? Wait, what the? Oh, there's flashing light. Oh, he's coming out of his car. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Such a f asshole. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get the balloon. No, this is our balloon now. We no, earned no, it. No, 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 this no. is our f***ing balloon. <laughs> get out, get out. I don't have a free hand. <laughs> get out of my balloon. Get out of my balloon. Get out of my balloon. Open the door. F***ing clowns, man. F***ing <laughs> clowns. Every 27 years, Alfred Pennywise awakes from a deep sleep to feed off of the fear of the town's children. Yeah, uh, why is it every 27 years, by the way? I mean, that's it's so oddly specific and they never really explain why this is the case. I feel like 30 years, if they rounded it up to 30 years, that would have made a, a little bit more sense, but no, 27 years, like maybe, maybe I'm missing something from the novel here, or maybe I was just too scared shitless to pay attention to the movie, who knows. Little curious Georgie decides he wants to go outside in the pouring rain to sail his little paper boat. His brother, Bill Nye the Science Guy, is sick in bed and his mom is downstairs playing the most depressing music of all time on her piano. So, little Georgie is forced to go on this little adventure alone. By himself. In the pouring rain. With no adult supervision. In a town that is famous for the disappearance of children. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's just bad parenting. I mean, this kid literally gets a f***ing concussion after playing outside for five minutes. That's bad parenting. You have to hand it to him, though. I mean, he is one brave-ass little kid. He's sitting there having a casual conversation with this creepy pedophile killer clown. Uh, they're talking about what? What was it, popcorn in the circus or some sh <laughs> If I saw this sh poke his head out of my sewer, I would f***ing move. And not just out of the province, I would move to another country. Somewhere warm, probably. Australia. A year after Georgie has disappeared, everyone in his family thinks he's dead, but his brother doesn't want to give up hope. He dedicates his entire summer to tracking down little Georgie, enlisting the help of his three most closest friends, Stan Smith, Eddie Brock, and... Um... Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I always forget this kid's name. Shmebulok. That's right, Shmebulok from Stranger Things. Meet Uncle Ben. He's the new kid on the block, no pun intended. He doesn't have a whole lot of friends at first, so he spends most of his time chilling out at the library, studying up on the town's rich, rich history of murder. One day at the library, Ben notices a brightly colored red balloon floating down a creepy dark hallway with creepy music playing in the background. Does no one else f***ing see that? This balloon floating in the middle of the room, there's music playing in the back. does no one f***ing see that? Ben's the only one, really? Really? Okay. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Ben does the only logical thing and follows the creepy red balloon down the creepy dark hallway only to find a trail of decorative eggs. Okay, I I'm sorry, but why, why eggs? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to bother questioning Pennywise's methods for murdering children. He's obviously really good at it, but why 
eggs. I, I feel like a trail of candies would have worked a little bit better in this scenario. It would have made me feel, feel super comfortable. A trail of candies, that would have been enough to make me go down the dark hallway. Mike Myers lives on a farm and is homeschooled by his uptight douchebag grandpa. He might not be the best father figure in the world, but he... Um... No, he's actually... He's actually pretty terrible. I mean, Mike lost his parents in a house fire, and his grandpa has him working on a farm slaughtering sheep. Considering what Mike has been through, you'd think he'd get a little bit more love and support from his grandfather, but no. I mean, seriously, were there no other jobs you could have given your grandson? We had to jump straight into the animal slaughter. Really? I mean, I, I don't even like lamb, but now I feel terrible because I've eaten it before. Finally, we have Beverly Marshall. She goes to school with Bill, Ben, and the rest of the recess gang and is harshly bullied by her fellow students. She also has a very abusive father who encourages her to smoke and steal. Hashtag bad parenting. All the crazy creepy shit going on in this movie and they still made room for a love interest for two of the main characters. I mean, she's the love interest for Ben, but she's also the love interest for Bill. and it, It's kind of weird. Together, this ragtag team of meddling kids will avenge Georgie's death and put an end to Pennywise's reign of terror. At least until he wakes up again in 27 years to feed off of more children. Wait, what? No, 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 why? No, 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 no. To this day, it is one of the only horror movies I've ever watched all the way through. I don't typically like these types of films, but I have to admit, Pennywise is definitely a clown above the rest. <laughs> clown, do you get it? <laughs> oh yeah, Eddie's mom has been lying to him, forcing him to take prescription medications that are actually Tic Tacs. Hashtag bad parenting.